Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of our Better Shave series. Today we're focusing on pre-shave preparation. My wager is that most of you guys don't know what this is and you sure as hell don't practice it. Okay, one of the keys to getting a really good shave is to prepare your face for the actual act of shaving itself. Now, it's all very well and good to just jump in the shower, wash your face, lather up and go for it, but it's not going to give you as comfortable a shave as if you prepare your face first. Now before we get into this, most of you guys are probably already thinking, wow, this is taking so long, you know, I can't be bothered getting up an extra 10 minutes earlier in the morning to do this. Think of this as me time. Uh, guys don't seem to get as much me time as they used to, and especially married, and married guys and guys with kids. This is your time in the morning where everything's quiet, the kids aren't up yet, this is your personal space. You're going to greet the day much better if you treat yourself in the morning by getting up just a little bit earlier. I can guarantee this is the case because I do this. So, pre-shave preparation. First thing we need to do is get your skin and your beard prepared for shaving. Now, I've looked at a number of web forums and tried a number of things myself. And the method I'm about to show you now, I'm pretty sure is going to be really good for just about anyone. So, to begin with, we want to get water as hot as possible, and we need a washcloth. Now, we'll grab our brush, get that wet. Now, what I'm going to assume is that you've already had a shower, because most guys know that the best time to have a shave is straight after a hot shower. Your pores are opened up a little bit better, and your skin's nice and warm. So, the way we're going to start this shave prep is to go straight on with the cream. Now you might be wondering why I'm doing it this way, but all will be revealed. Bit of cream on there, touch of water. We're going to lather up directly onto the face. This is the type of lathering I didn't show you in my building the lather video, because I knew I'd be doing it here. So we lather up the face, you don't need to worry too much about whether the lather's wet or anything at this stage. And what we do now, a little bit of water on the fingertips, and we massage it in. Now the reason we do this is because proper shaving creams and soaps are made to penetrate the hair on your face. That means they'll swell with water, and when you run a razor over them, they break nice and cleanly and easily compared to if your hair is just strong on its own, no water in there. Now you can spend anywhere up to two or three minutes doing this, depending on how coarse your hair is. You really probably don't need to go anywhere past 30 seconds. So, that's nice and easy. Now what you want to do is get a hot washcloth as hot as you can possibly get and stand. Now I won't put this on my face just yet, but the way this works is, it's all well and good to just splash hot water on your face, but when you hold a really hot towel on there, your pores open up far more, and you begin to sweat, and the soap or cream really begins to penetrate those hairs. So at this stage, we just wring the towel out. It's not really that hot at the moment, preferably steaming if you can. And hold it on the face for one to two minutes until the heat goes out of it. Obviously, normally I'd hold it on for that length of time, but since we're making a video, I won't bother. Now, at the end of that, if your washcloth's wet enough, you won't have much cream left on your face, so simply wipe it off. Now, what this also does is actually cleans the pores of your skin out. You don't need to wash your face at night or in the morning if you use this method because it's just going to dry your skin out further. This is more than sufficient to clean your skin. So after this, it's simply a matter of lathering up and then going for your shave, which we'll cover in our next video.